Welcome back to our channel, where we explore SketchUp software. Today, we'll be discussing SketchUp's right panel or tray option and also some of its essential features, like entity info, material, component, style, and more. Let's dive right in. In the previous video, we will discuss the main interface of SketchUp. If you haven't seen, you can check it out in the i button on the top of the video. For now, we will explore the sidebar, which means the tray option like Entity Info, Material, Component, Style, Tags, Shadow. All these options help you customize and manage your drawings. Let's explore each of them. In SketchUp, the Entity Info feature provides detailed information about the selected entities within your model. When you select an entity, like a line, face, group, or component, the Entity Info panel displays its attributes. These attributes can include measurements, the layer it's on, materials used, and tags associated with it. If the entity is a component, it may also show whether it's a solid and other specific attributes access the Entity Info panel. Select one or more entities in your model. Click on the right pointing arrow next to Entity Info in the default tray, Tags. Tags act as your organizational tool. They help you categorize and manage different elements within your model. Whether it's grouping furniture items, categorizing structural components, or organizing layers, tags allow you to stay organized and maintain clarity in your design workflow. Components. Components are like building blocks in your model. Instead of creating every element from scratch, you can create reusable components that you can use multiple times throughout your design. For example, a chair or a table can be saved as a component, making it easy to add them to different parts of your model without starting from scratch each time. Here you can choose components. There are many components in it. I will show you how to add components to the SketchUp. I chose the window component and adjust its angle using the Move tool. You can also search for any model like a sofa, table, and more. In the arrow button, you can see your favorite, recent components, and more. Explore every option. Style. Style is your magic wand for visual customization. It allows you to change the visual appearance of your model, from line thickness to shading effects. You can create different styles to match various design themes or client preferences, giving your model a unique and polished look. Let's check one of them. As you can see, there are many options. If you are making any sketch drawings, you can choose a sketch pencil. Also choose straight lines and more. Explore each of them for better work. Shadow. Shadow settings give your model depth and realism. By controlling lighting effects, you can adjust the position and intensity of shadows cast by objects in your model. This not only enhances the visual appeal, but also helps you understand how natural light interacts with your design, aiding in realistic visualization. As you can see, I set timing, dates, and lights for a better result in my model. Adjust the time as you like. This is the way to set a shadow for a model. Remember, setting a time is very important for the rendering. Scene. Scenes are like snapshots of your model from different perspectives. With the scene option, you can save specific views of your model including camera angles, zoom levels, and visibility settings. This allows you to easily navigate through different design iterations or present your design concepts from various angles. Let's set up the scene for this component. First, set up the model angle and click on the plus sign to add a scene. As you saw when I lost my model, I simply click on the scene icon on the upper left side. Material. Imagine material as your palette of colors and textures. Here, you have the ability to manage the materials that you'll apply to different surfaces in your model. Whether it's wood, 
glass, or concrete, you can choose the right material to accurately represent the real-world appearance of your design. Let's draw a rectangle in the window to add glass material to my model. Click on the glass material, drag your mouse into the model, and add material to the model. This is the way to add material to a model. Let's add color to our model. Choose the color you want by scrolling it down. I chose gray and add on my model. Lastly, let's mange our tray option. In SketchUp, managing trays allows users to create new trays that contain the dialog boxes they want. The default tray is created when SketchUp is first installed and contains the most commonly used dialog boxes. To create a new tray, select Window, select New Tray, name the tray and select what you want to add in tray. Understanding these features will empower you to navigate SketchUp effectively and unleash your creativity in your design projects. Those are some of the essential features of SketchUp's interface. If you have any specific questions or need more information about any feature, feel free to ask in the comment section. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more tutorials like this. Until next time.